You mean I left the engine running for a week? It's, uh, it's fine. It still has fuel, apparently. Good thing the game doesn't run all the time. Uh, but John Doe said I better go service my power. Um, and we got a lot of money, so we don't want to waste it. So I guess we will go service the power at the roundhouse. But let's see. Uh, while we're here, is there anything exciting that, that we could haul out of this place? Not logistical hauls. Those are not fun. Blech. Okay. We have... A couple of heavy jobs to the steel mill, which is, uh, I mean, it's 900 tons. That's not that exciting, though. N new cars! Yeah, not t terribly exciting in job land over here, but what about the military side of things? This military base is also here. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? This is Ice. We are playing d Valley. Hardcore career mode once again. We can deliver thanks to the harbor. Um... And I mean that's that's 58 grand. That's that's not half bad, but that's not that exciting either. But we'll we'll go we'll go start somewhere else. Maybe we'll go see if we can find a, a silly steam engine to run this time. It was very neat playing with the DE6 last time, but uh, and and obviously we need to play with it and the slug at some point. But I forgot where I left the slug. I think the slug is probably still sitting at City Southwest, which isn't too far off. But you know. Far on, far enough. Oh, that! Oh, did the brakes just automatically get set on this? What was it mad about? I was mad about something. Maybe it wheel slipped briefly. All right, uh, we need to be kind of over there'sville. I guess we could blitz through the passenger station. do that and then uh, <clears throat> run it back from there. Go service it at the Ran House. Schmack. It's a very satisfying flack that the doors make. Uh, yeah, okay, that's the throat of the yard. And we need headlights in the rear. Uh, where are they on this? Fan. Uh, they're there. Right. Right. Can we, can we spice them? I was gonna say it didn't care, but it, I forgot that the uh, DE6 takes a long time to actually start loading. Alright, well. Let's just line us through. Probably just straight back, honestly. And then we'll just blitz through the station, like we own the place. Straight to 8, don't be late. Or as many people in comments were saying, straight to 11, go to heaven. Speed and power. I think those switches are all aligned, we should be able to just send it. Go train, go! Because the round house is somewhere over here. There it is, right there. It is both house and round. Now we're doing 110. That's pretty good. Oh, 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 there's a, there is a curve. Oh dear, oh, okay. Right. It's not straight. That track? See that track that we thought was straight the whole way? Uh, it wasn't. Where, where, where did we come off? Why, why did they put a chicane right here? What, like, perfectly fast, high speed, beautiful, and then they just put this little squiggle in it. And then we hit something. And, and, I don't think we're servicing the D6. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have run 110 kilometers an hour through the yard. That's a, that's a horror. This is a horror game picture if I ever saw one. Put my lantern down by it, get vibes. 
of my grass is casting shadows. <laughs> oh goodness. Yep. That uh, that's what we call an oopsie in the industry, everybody. Pretty sure this locomotive is done. D E O N. Just like that. Doin? I was gonna say D E D dead. Which is also not how you spell that, but that's that's scrap. Um Oh. Oh, but it's mirrored. What does it say? Time to pee in a cup. Yeah. They're gonna ask me why I was going 110 in the in the yard there. And then and then Yeah, that's uh that that cute little chicane. That little little foop little foop darth right there that it did. It's enough to catch my hubris. Bye, Red Train! Bye forever! Um, okay. What do we have here? Oh, we've got another DE6. <laughs> and the roundhouse lead is blocked by, I don't know, something! Um, yeah. We're just gonna go somewhere else. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna do the classic, go to the harbor. Pay no attention to what Night Shift did at the Machine Factory. Okay. This time with feeling. This time with gloves. Shunting. 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 Ooh, bend it. Literally. Literally, literally in every sense of the word so far this episode. Ugh. Shunting. Shunting. Is this, is this the content that you crave? Sorting paperwork. It's what Dear Old Valley wanted to do with like capturing the uh, the little other fun details of railroading. Drunk yard master leaving the <laughs> jobs scattered all across the desk. There's not really a whole lot of spice there. There's that. Be a long range job at the food factory. There's two jobs at the food factory. Easily doable with most power. That could be interesting. Harbor down here, food factory up there. You could go either way, you could go that way. Or you could try and run that other route that we don't tend to run and then go up, down, down that. Or you could run out of the harbor the other way again and join up there to do that. That might actually be less track, but this is just speed, and so is that. It's hard to beat that corridor for speed. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> I've heard of one, the Black Pearl. There's no real ship to match the interceptive speed. Okay, well, let's go see what we have at the roundhouse. And if it's not worth it, maybe we'll go find some boys or something. I don't know, nitrogen's not splody, but it's fun. All right, we do have a choo-choo of some... Oh, it's got a lot of wheels. <laughs> We've been given two DE6s, so we could choose extra violence and just haul the world, a hydraulic, and then an ES and D two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh God. It's a 212-2. You can't, you can't not take the 212-2. Like, come on. Can we, you want to pull the universe? Yeah, we're doing that. We, uh, we said that we we're going to play career, but we would, uh, we would have some fun with the rearranged S282 mod. So, uh, you know, we want to pull the world with this thing. 212-2, like, that's gotta be so much better for tonnage than the normal S282 with the itty bitty drivers. Because uh, the, the way the mod works, did a standalone video about it, um, is it actually scales the tractive effort based on the geometry. So smaller drivers uh, makes it a lot more power, a lot less speed, but we'll be able to pull a lot more. Machine factory, there's three jobs for the machine factory. You could go see that train we just derailed. And they are hazmat -y things. Okay, it's a longer haul. Or is it? It may not be that much longer of a haul, the machine factory. Either way, 
what, what, what gets us more tonnage? We do have steel mill. We could drop steel mill on the way. And that could add the weight, the challenge, either way. Goods factory is kind of out of the way, but it is vaguely on the way to the food factory. But it's not as on the way as the steel mill is to the food factory. Steel mill is not necessarily on the way to the machine factory, but we could set up our jobs in such a way to make it nice and easy. So we have 300 tons, basically, 130 tons, 870 tons. So that those two jobs are 1,000 tons. That'd be 1,300 tons. And then those jobs, we got 400 combined there, and then, like, 565 with those three. And then if we add that, that's basically still that 1,300, right? Because you'd be fine. Yeah, well, it's actually a little bit more. It is four jobs, though. Well, what's more money? 19,000? 47,000? 38,000? Well, this is a higher high at 58,000 for the nitrogen. That's basically that job. And then those two jobs combined, basically. So then 40... God, it's... They're really kind of... They're really kind of equal, and the steel mill, we could run through the steel mill and just cut the cars at the end. So we'll do, we'll do these. We'll go to the food factory with the the big, the big stupid, the 212-2. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be glorious. Put that there. Okay. Uh, so what do we have uh, in terms of these jobs? We have the nitrogen, we have the scrap, and the scrap's going to go on the back. Um, so we want to rearrange those so that we do that. Did that just swap their places? Yes, it did. Okay, so we are looking for the 53, the 8, and the 75, which are all hopefully going to be in E-Yard. And then when we figure out where they are, we will go get the 212-2 and see how much uh, tonnage we can make it out here with that thing. 1,300 tons might be ambitious. That might be a bit much. But I bet we can figure it out. That might be the scrap train, and that might be the nitrogen train, and the other one's containers, so it might be any of these pieces of crap. Okay, that's the 55. We want the 53. Okay, so it's not that. 91. 71. I don't think it's either of these, because it would say Sun Om Omni on them. 59. 91, that's a shunting job. I'm looking for 53, 8, 75. 75, okay, so our scrap job, we would pick up last in E yard, okay? Assemble the rest of the train. That might be the nitrogen train. Here in G yard, show me a placard. There's the 53. Okay, so here's the first cut. Look, there's no container train here. God, it's gonna be in three. We're gonna have to shunt these. Blast! I don't know if it makes a darn bit of difference if we have the containers or the hazmat first. <laughs> in true train handling fashion, we would wanna have the heavy stuff up by the locomotives, but uh, that way you reduce the chance of streamlining. But, uh, it's fine. Uh, I bet it's that cut there. The white containers. Yeah. <clears throat> the Sun Omni containers. One of the many brands. And they're refrigerated. Look at that. Okay. There's the eight. All right. So we gotta, we gotta go to the D yard, the G yard, and then the E yard. So we'll line our switches, and then we'll go, uh, we'll go do that. That's lined properly. I really ought to have more lights in this yard. That's lined properly. And then this is into the G yard here. I want that switch lined there. That's lined into our nitrogen cut. Okay. And so then these two switches combine. We'll, we'll only have to throw this switch when we get to it. So we'll go grab the containers first. 
then we'll go throw the switch, go past him again. And that's lined that way. Now we need to go get this switch. Katunk. Okay, that's lined all the way in there. And now we will just really quickly go and line our other set of switches to the scrap. Scrap. Just line to the right, line to the right, line to the right, all the way down. I think it's uh, one, the last switch needs to be lined though. Pow. Yeah, because they're not all the way down the last track. Okay, to the roundhouse! Da -da 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 -da. We're gonna be smart kids and line the table for the engine that we're gonna fire up so that we don't do anything stupid. And now coal goes in the hole. We're gonna try and practice uh, better firing. Zybok was uh, in my comments talking about uh, the amount of you should be firing for uh, efficiencies and things. Said it basically didn't really matter too much. Like you didn't have to be super, super, super efficient with it. Um, Cause you, you run out of water before you run out of coal, but yeah, it affects your costs a little bit. And obviously we just blew up a DE6 for no gosh darn reason, so. Uh, costs might be important. So it's better to run with a thin fire and full air than a thick fire and damp it down with the dampers. But obviously right now, gotta have the, uh, <laughs> gotta have the thing do the thing, so. Do -do 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 -do. While we're waiting for that to turn on, we will come turn on our appliances, which are not on this side on this locomotive. Uh, huh, there's that, and then, uh, there, oh, it's up there, that's right. Very convenient location of starting valves on this. Lots of thought given in to crew comforts. Alright. Uh, the other forwards. And break off. Okay. Got good pressure. Still got some coal. We're not gonna do too anything too crazy, so we'll do that. Blowing the whistle in the shop like a madman. Yes, we'll turn a, a valve on the hydrostatic to start the bell. Let's not derail two trains today. Enough on the ding dings. God, it sounds like we're going so fast and we're doing, what, 20? Yeah, 25. 12 drivers, man. <clears throat> they small. All right, now we go pick up that first cut of cars. Get water. Pressure's hanging around at 12. We don't mind that. 12 bar is pretty good. We're switching, we're not going to really need much of the pressure. We'll still hook it up and not do anything too egregious to our engine here. Want to see how small those little drivers are? And now we ride. You almost never get jobs that originate out of that yard here unless they're shunting jobs. That's the C yard. 
get him out of the B yard for military. C yard is like only three tracks. Mostly they're out of the E yard and sometimes out of G and D. You could probably compile a list of what yards the uh, jobs have come out of in my playthrough so far and they're probably mostly out of the E yard. We run out of the harbor because that's where the variety and expensive jobs are really. I was a little bummed that the machine factory didn't hardly have anything else in it. Yes, get back in the cab before you die. <laughs> okay, if I must. If I must. Pressure's on the rise. This engine pops at. 15 bar? I wanna say. So we'll be alright. Oh, goodness. I fell through the gap. I got schlorped. Alright, how how close? And of, of the jobs to couple two, this is just empty container, so it doesn't really matter if we bang it a little hard, it's fine. So they might just ride the ride the end sill here. Um, if there's a brake valve, I can't see the brake valve, so I guess I won't. I won't ride the end sill. I will just try and gauge it from up here. The keyboard controls still work? No, the old keyboard controls don't work. There might be new keyboard controls. And the old keyboard controls might work, but they're probably disabled for hardcore or realistic or whatever the setting's called. Eh. Chef's kiss! Oh! Did you see that? It didn't even make a noise! Mwah! I'll be here all week. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Ho. Ho. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Fire's almost out, but that's all right. Oh. Turn the brake off, you inbred. <laughs> Shush, you. You have 12 drivers, how are you slipping? You have all of the adhesion. I'm gonna put a scoop on so the fire doesn't go out. This thing accelerates like mad. Can't remember if it pops at 14 or 15. We'll find out. There's hardly any coal in the darn box and it's making a fair amount of smoke. All right, this is not our G-Yard switch or G-Yard switch is coming up. I guess we'll find out if it pops at 14 or 15. Could douse it with a little water, but the water's still kind of high. Well, we'll wait at the switch. We're near the switch. Dump the air and stop it from the rear. Tunk. Psh. Oh, come on, you. Really? Uh, sometimes the emergency brake is uh, surprising in how good it is. It does say emergency on the tin. So, I mean, I can't complain that much. All right, well, we got to bring him a half car ahead now. Shut up, you. Okay, certainly that won't have been enough. 
We start him back now. Oh, it popped at 14, 100%. All right, we'll start it now and see if I can beat it back to the switch. Luckily, I've got a comms radio. Oh God, we could work against it. Oh God, those cinders look so cool from here. Getting a little fast, but I have I have a break valve. <laughs> What's it like being the the brakeman engineer, the brake engineer? Terrifying. That's what it's like. All right, <laughs> four cars. Three cars. Two cars. One car. It's hazmat. Easy. 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 No, no, don't come back. Oh, uh, I said come back, bring him back. Did we break anything? See, it's fine. Buffers, that's what they're for. It's fine. Fine. Come on. Shove. Shove like you mean it. Poomph. Do it again, I dare you. Dunk. Oh, oh, I've been I've been run over. Here lies Heiss. Run over by his own train. Give me the thing. Tunk. Skadunk. Now stop it. Charge your air. Why would you tie a brake on the other end of this cut? Day shift. Day shift. Day shift. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's that's two cuts for you. Two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we go out to the main. We line the other switch, and then we go. Uh, we do it all over again. And then we highball. Drop the one cut at the steel mill. Uh, probably accept jobs in there. Oh God, we should have bought the caboose while we were at the machine factory. Blast. Where'd all the water go? I mean, I guess I left the, the throttle open a lot. Well, fine. Have some water. Fine, meaty choo-choo. Have some, some heat and some coal. That's feeling better on the water. <laughs> Itty bitty little drivers, but so many of them. Maybe we're sitting in a weird spot in the track, because now the water looks even higher. Bouncing around. There's the joy of trying to read the sight glass. This is going to be quite a lot of train. 162 meters, 144 meters, so that's about 300 meters. And another 200 meters on top. Yeah, so we're going to be half a, half a kilometer long. Being hauled by a 212-2 that I swear to God, I will not blow up. I solemnly swear I will not blow this train up. That's a lot of train. How many cars is it? That's like nine, nine cars of nitrogen, eight container cars, and then 15 scrap metal cars. Yeah, that's uh Yeah, so about about 30 cars. A little more than 30 cars. Okay, this time we'll just wait. Not 
just be fine. And now we bring it back. Bring it, bring it, bring it! If, uh, if YouTube tries to copyright claim me over my bad acapella Robert Plant, um, I'll be very frustrated. <laughs> Usually the, uh, the Zeppelin stuff doesn't seem to do too badly. Uh, with copyright detection stuff on YouTube, I've found in my uh, many musical experiences. If you're not a uh, frequenter of live streams or my second channel, High Studio, where we talk about music, uh, music's my other passion, other big thing in my life. Uh, and I love, I love dad rock. Like I love, I, I'm actually in the top 0.1% of Led Zeppelin's listeners on Spotify. It's fine. I promise it's fine. That sounds strange. I guess that's just the rods being weird. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've got a fair bit of experience playing guitar on live streams and whatever, and uh, I found that ACDC and the Beatles they, uh, they will take videos down over their stuff being played, which is a bummer. It's obviously, uh, I, I love ACDC. They're one of my favorite bands. Uh, and I quite enjoy the Beatles. I've never been a huge Beatles guy, but I really appreciate their songwriting. And I did, I did like that new tune they put out. New old tune. Uh, really touching way to do it. You know, to, to get new music from, from the whole band, quote unquote. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, was it their best song? No, but I thought it was pretty touching. Uh, and it was well topicked to be a kind of last look, a last song for the band. Um, and it was kind of somber and the, the chords were really pretty. So composition of John Lennon. Guy knew some, uh, knew a thing or two, that's for sure. So that was a pretty cool story if you didn't check it out. Didn't know we were getting into rock and roll nerdery this week, did you? It happens. I think it was, maybe it was on Twitch. Uh, way back when, playing Railroads Online, um, when we got the trains to fly with that one glitch, uh, I played Stairway and then I played Highway to Hell unplugged on my uh, electric guitar back to back. And it was either a Twitch stream or maybe it was a stream on YouTube, I don't remember. Um, and it the video had to get taken down because uh, ACDC copyright claimed their melody on my unplugged electric guitar. I guess, you know, like, I must have played the part right because <laughs> what a what a ridiculous thing to do. It's like, okay, uh, sure. Yeah, that's uh, c cool. Thanks. Thanks for that. It's a strange world of uh, copyright and all those issues. When you're doing covers and stuff, it's like, hey, this is tributing the artist, and it's probably going to get more people into the artist and listening to their stuff anyway. But you don't want to steal, right? So it's, a, it's an interesting balance. And YouTube handles it uh, extra interestingly, I would say. But bang, that's neither here nor there. That might have been a little spicy. No, come back. I'll never let go. Uh, that that coupler let go though. Okay, well we didn't break anything still. But now I have to walk all the way up there and open the throttle and come all the way back right here. <laughs> uh, if I could change a difficulty setting, I would. But I'm locked into them uh, as far as I know until I beat career once, and then I can change it. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it work a little steam. Like, I'm just gonna leave it in reverse. Do the thing. Okay, and now we're just gonna... <coughs> do the 300 meter dash. Break my keyboard. Whee! Almost there, almost there, come on, come on! Hey, look, we already compressed the joint. I'd love to see it. Air first. It's fine. Uh, the coupling broke because I didn't do the... Uh, bit. The, the tension-y bit. 
And the hook fell off again, I guess. That that is a requirement. I swear to Christ. Okay, thank goodness. Yay! The handbrake was here. <laughs> you make me walk more this game. Uh, that train's gonna start rolling the wrong direction, theoretically. Uh, how far is up is the station versus our locomotive? Does it make sense to go turn the jobs in first? No, it makes the we'll, we'll hop in the engine and get it rolling first. Okay, well we're about we're about to work this thing hard, but we still won't need that much coal. Basically, is what we found. So we'll, we'll kind of keep it a little bit lighter. Uh, we'll run the gun, so we're almost at pressure. And throttle on the ceiling. Not quite. Okay, we're gonna be going uphill, that's good on the water. Shut up. Not supposed to catch wheel slips with sand, but it's fine. <laughs> Not with the throttle still open, at least. <laughs> or the wheels trying to spin. Oh, if it makes me pay my fees. Okay, good. It's like, that would be a problem if it made me do that right now and I'm letting my train just go. Oh, uh, safety popping out the yard. Come on, heist. That's wasted fuel. Throttle on the ceiling. Sand off. Oh, nope. All right, heavy load. places to be. Yeah, that fire is staying pegged at 14 bar right now. Just gonna start feeding a little inject injector there. Temp is cooling off a little bit. So we will give it a little more coal. Maybe that's about the amount of coal we want. Yeah, that temp came back up, so I'm gonna leave it pretty much right there. And we'll get her out of town. We just, we're just trying to maximize the fire temp gauge, basically. And he, oh, goodness, it's even cre creeping above a 1,000 now. That's a lo lot of train behind us, boys. How fast are we doing? We're doing about 40. This is about as fast as we can blitz through here right now. So I'm going to hook the cutoff up all the way, pretty much, and just kind of let it cruise. This thing accelerates. All right, the nitrogen, which is not our first cut of cars. So we want to switch those jobs. The These guys go to the D2 inbound at the food factory. These guys go to the C4. God, we're going to have to go to two different yards. And then we're dropping these guys off probably on B3. Yeah, B3I. The game's favorite track at the steel mill, I swear. Very biased. All right, we're gonna dial back the water, so we have plenty. And we need a little bit more coal. So the fire temp's falling off. And the fire temp's still falling off. What's the stack doing? Kind of a light gray. It's pretty good, that's a good place to be. I don't still have the blower on, do I? Oh yeah, I still have the blower absolutely ripping. Oopsie. That's where all the water went. Yeah, the the, the, the 2120 just just starting to do the thing here. Get me back in the cab before I die. Thank you. More of the weights getting on the hill though. Gotta keep that fire just raging. Water's off. We are tossing cinders like we mean it. <laughs> Here we are at the junction. We're still doing 30. I mean, this thing is just a brick outhouse of a locomotive. Fire temp is just about pegged. So we'll try and keep it about that level, about halfway the height of the door. Safety popping entering the tunnel. Look at that. Click up the bar a couple notches. We still have sand on. 
Oh, we're about to have this thing wide open. Oh yeah, we got her wide, wide open. What's her steam doing? Staying pretty much parked right there. The water has disappeared though. That was scary for a second. Okay, we don't want to kill the steam though. We keep the, the fire temp just about absolutely pegged right where it is. <laughs> I just want to get a good view of it. Go get it. Go train, go. We'll get a view up in a up ahead in a second here. All right, we're gonna dial the water back a little bit. Preemptively add another scoop of coal. We've got this thing wide open. I mean, full throttle. Re scroll verse all the way in the corner. Now we're picking up a little speed, so we'll bring it back a smidge. Try and build that steam back up to 14 bar. Get a little more water. Can I get out ahead of it for a picture? I gotta get a YouTube thumbnail, guys. And they don't give me any tools in career mode. Oh god, that looks cool. Burning down the forest with a 212 0. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That might be the shot right there. Probably try one in the day, too, you know? It's an important thing with YouTube videos. Oh god, the pressure's gone down. I was foaming! Don't get mad, I was foaming! Gonna hook it up significantly. Okay, that's helped. What's the stack doing? It's gray with lots of lots of Bernie bits. It's a lot of cinders. This coal's garbage. We've just been sanding this whole time. We're probably just gonna sand up the hill the whole way. As long as we have the, the scrap iron cars at the back. Why is the water gone again? Did we level off through here? Must have. More coal. Keep that fire temp just absolutely blitzed. Coming up on 14 bar, I'm gonna really just start dumping some water in it. The fire temp's coming down, so I'm gonna give it two scoops. It seems to like two at a time with the expert shovel, based on how I'm burning. Nice light gray haze. That is that that is the British way. Desperation is the English way. That's the wrong uh, wrong lyrics, wrong time for the lyrics, but somebody out there knows that song. <laughs> no fun was had here. None. None fun. None whatsoever. All right. Gonna dial back on the water because the pressure's come back down. Leave it cracked. We're going to bring the reverser up a little bit more because we're accelerating. We've no longer started yeeting cinders into the stratosphere. Presumably not enough back pressure to slurp them. The water is now sky high, so we'll just shut it off, let the pressure come back. See if we can get a little more speed out of this thing. The pressure is still coming up. Want uh, a scoop of coal in there. Fresh scoop of coal and it just dumps cinders out. I don't know if it was just because it uh, was the fresh scoop of coal or not. I'm very curious to, to that mechanic, actually. Because when you disturb the fire bed with fresh coal, you, uh, you get, you'll get cinders out the stack right in that moment because you're stirring the bed up. Although this seems a bit more continuous than that. Trim it back with a little water. Picking up speed here, so. Trying to keep that pressure vaguely happy. 
fire temps come down, but I don't mind that. We're going to be towards the top of the hill. Although then we're going to be adding speed, so maybe we'll keep a thicker fire in it for a little bit longer. Yeah, usually at, when an engine's working super hard and you toss a, a fresh scoop on, uh, it's it doesn't combust right away, so you get a big puff of black smoke right as something gets added. It's a pretty neat phenomenon, and, and it goes away pretty quick once the coals ignite and light, because when you're putting coal in the fire, it's cold. It's ambient temp. It doesn't light until it gets to about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the ignition point of bituminous coal, the idle burning temp. So you got to get it pretty ripping to light, and so you got to heat that coal up, and so that the harder the engine's working, the hotter the fire. Okay, that's, you know, it'll heat it up pretty quick, but uh, that's why typically when we sit idle, we usually tell our firemen, like, hey, give it, uh, give it a five minutes before you start, before you get going, then put your coal in, do your fire in. That way, you give the chance for the coal to actually ignite and be outputting heat and actually adding to the fire rather than detracting from it. Because right when you add coal, you actually cool things down very briefly. And, and how brief depends on the draft. If you're working the crap out of the engine, I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna be maybe 10, 15 seconds and then you start getting heat. Uh, but if you're sitting at idle or light blower, I mean, it, it can be five, six minutes. Which is uh, kind of crazy to perceive, so. Fire temps come back a fair bit, so we will get more coal in there because we're going to be working this thing pretty hard still, so. <laughs> I can't pick if I want more water or less water. It's all over the place. adding a little bit more draft just very quickly making the fire a lot hotter so I'm feeding it a little bit more reverser as we're slowing down running with the bar that's the uh, the old saying oh we're falling off the train is what we're doing get back in the cab before you die yes Okay, I think I want more water. I think. So I don't exactly know what uh, what grade we're on right now, but that's pretty low. A lot of the engines in mountainous territory actually had tags about where you're supposed to keep the water on certain grades. 491 has a tag. Uh, it's about yay high, and it show, says that water must show here minimum on a 3% grade, I want to say, when you're going uphill to keep the tube bundle at the front all covered and also so that when you tip over you you have water still now we're getting some speed now we're getting somewhere now we're cooking with coals next time on k37 kitchen cooking with coals Nice and ripping. Keep the fire out, because I mean, we're, we still want more water. Because we're using it. I mean, we are boogieing right now. It sounds like we're going a million, but we're doing 55. 55! Apparently, rock and roll's on the brain tonight. I don't know what to tell you. It's probably morning for you. These episodes usually go up. 10 a.m. my time on uh, Tuesdays. So yeah, uh, happy morning. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying work and or school and or whatever you're watching this with. I know how most of you people are. <laughs> okay, 60. I don't know what the, the 212 2 is going to top out at, but it certainly, I mean, it pulled the hill 1,300 tons just... I mean, it, it, it was challenge it wasn't struggling though it wasn't like oh my god we're not gonna make it probably turn the sand off says having used most of the sand in the dome 
water is a little happier, so I'm going to dial it back a smidge. Though we do have a downhill section where it's going to drop away up ahead, so... We might not get much more than 70 out of this thing. I mean, look at how much dance the rods are doing. What's our time bonus on this steel job? We were a little slow. 50 minutes. These time bonuses are getting more like they were pre-simulator. And I've been recording for 51 minutes raw right now. So that means that we're probably going to get the time bonus by the time we get the steel because there's a lot of switching. I didn't note what time I set off at, so. Okay, almost hitting 75. Got it nice and hooked up. I mean, the fire is just pegged right now. It's awesome. It's an 80. And we can still do 80. I know there's a 60 coming up at a junction. But how soon? Is it around this next curve? It might be around this next curve. There's a 70. We can ride around the 70, but I'm going to shut it back. Let the safety pop, apparently. Put it in full gear. There's the 60. All right. Moving the brake into application. That's a, about 10 PSI, two-thirds of a bar. That's a pretty nice set. We watched the, uh, the black needle decrease from five. Determine that. And that's just stuck. And the, oh my god. Yeah, we uh, we found the way to make it roll black. Alright, then we'll kick it off. And we'll just absolutely dump water into this thing. So we're about to tip over. And we'll just let it coast. Throttle off. Just like that. Alright, it's full out the top. That should be pretty good. Shut the damper. Just make sure that we don't waste too much more fuel. Obviously, we're getting a crap ton of black smoke, but it kind of is what it is. Another 60. We're still pretty much doing. We're doing 55, but we got a bunch of weight behind us. Let the brake shoes cool off. Add a little bit more water. Kind of 90 through there, but uh, it's going to be back down to 60 or so by the time our train gets into that 90, so not much we can do about that. that cool this down to about 13 bar, which is pretty happy. I wonder for uh, any of you firemen over there in the EU where you use bar as your measurement for pressure, what's, uh, what's your standard rule on how much you can decrease the boiler's pressure by by putting cold water in? Because we say 5 PSI in the States. Almost everywhere I've, I've talked to, I've, like almost everyone I know, says keep it to 5 PSI, ideally, so that you're not overcooling the boiler. Uh, but that, that's, a, that's a fraction of a bar, right? So I'm kind of curious what, like, uh, what that looks like. Do you do a third of a bar? Because that's about 5 PSI. Got a little bit of a set on. Actually, we got a, almost a whole bar set on huh? right now. Uh, which way are we lined? We, we went to. Oh god, we went somewhere else last time, didn't we? Yeah, we are lined poorly. Switch grabs the switch! Okay. And we'll just let this set just kind of ride for a second so that we can get down to a decent speed to enter the yard. That boiler is just absolutely plugged full of water, which is great. That's pretty good speed, so we're just gonna kick it off. As the fog rolls in and day shift begins. Can we go ride the front toolbox? This feels like the ideal place to stand right now. <laughs> yes. I guess if I need to, I have a break right here, too. Okay, V3 is going to be to the right. Tunk. And that's lined right, lined right. Is that V3 we're lined into already? Looks like it. Yeah. 
It's not the first one, it's the second one. Alright. Now we go rush back to the, uh... <laughs> the last cut of cars in the consist. And, you know, we should probably... We should probably dump both the train and the, the cars. I would love to just rolling drop these cars um, and then just keep going. But I don't think I'd ever catch the train. I think that might be a little too much hubris for the day. So we'll wait till we get almost this whole cut in the siding and then we'll just pop the air hose. We pop that right now, undo the link. Coming up towards the end of the siding, we're still going fast, so I'm just going to dump that. It's fine. That's good for it. That's good for it. It's good for it to slide the wheels. Chef's kiss. I close that angle cock. It's fine. Where we're going, we don't need brakes. Pow! Uh, let's see if good monies didn't break anything. Apparently, uh, flat spots are a joke. It's fine. All right, to the head end. And on to the food factory we go. <laughs> Running down the tracks. Do, 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 do. Hopping and pressing the F button. Look at all that smoke. Alternate thumbnail option! Big train! Wow! <laughs> now featuring more train! Whoa! Yeah! Go. How's our fire looking? Uh, open the damper. Probably give it a, li a, li a wee bit of coal. And we're going downhill, but I got places to be, so we're just gonna put the sand on. I, I can't have it wide open even with the sand on. Who hurt you? Who hurt you, Choo Choo? You should have more adhesion than this. You have 12 drivers. Chill. I guess the interesting thing with with this mod becomes that you, you don't get a true simulacrum of the different wheel arrangements in that a 12 cylindered engine like or a 12 driver engine like this would probably be significantly heavier and I don't think you get a changed weight um, with it so so obviously uh, you're just now dividing the weight by the number of drive wheels versus pony and, and trail wheels. So this isn't as good as an O12O for adhesion, although it'd be more stable in both directions. So, interesting. 70, okay. I think we could do 70 through there. Fog is not giving me confidence. 80. Actually, I want a little bit more coal now. Seventy. We're doing seventy-four or so, but that's fine. We got a lead truck. We'll hold us on, I believe. Like we got a lead lead truck, twelve flanges, bud. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> well, I guess six on each side, but. a 10. I don't know if we'll be able to get up to 100. This thing's got itty bitty wheels. They already look like they're doing a million, billion, zillion mile an hour. Although it'll get over 80. Dude, the 212 is dope. Not quite the, the 412 2 Union Pacific that uh, 
I'm quite enamored with, but uh, still, really cool wheel arrangement. And cheers to Satiric for such a killer mod. Well, we're touching that 90, and that's a 70. So we're gonna shut off. We're gonna take our, we're gonna go for about two thirds of a bar again. And that should be a nice set. We're gonna be going 70 around this curve. Just, just about get there, okay. And I'm gonna release it now. Released it above. We're letting the curve bind us down the rest of the way. Nice and spicy, boys. Welcome. Picante. Back on a little power here. Water's still looking good. Got some 50 coming up, but I think it's for the uh, the entry to the goods factory, and we ain't going to the goods factory. I'm gonna keep it on 70 and watch for the junction. I don't think I've been to the goods factory more recently, but racing with Khan has thrown off my mindset on what goes where, uh, or where I've been. Oh yeah, look, <laughs> guess where we've been more recently? Goods factory. Okay, this is career. And we could be doing a hundred to the left. We've got places to be, man. Come on. Was that immediately followed by a 60? I think that was immediately followed by a 60. And we were doing, oh, we were doing 80. We were doing 80. We were doing 80. We were doing 80. That's a 60. We're lying to the left. We're just, we just left it in application. Oh yeah, yeah we did. Sliding them. Oh, that's so bad to see! <laughs> Stay rolling! <laughs> Mechanical's gonna hate me. Whoopsie! It's fine. Wheel sliding. Flat spotting. more water. We need a lot more coal now. We're actually working this thing pretty good. It's still a pretty clean stack. It's pretty white, pretty gray. It should depend on temperature, honestly, but... Now we got a big, big fuego in there. Doing the 60. Gotta grade up. We are almost to the food factory. We're going through these right now. We got that spicy section and then we're there. We might make the time bonuses on all these jobs. Knocking on wood. <laughs> Where's the junction? It's coming up and it's a slow one. And that's plenty of water, okay? doing about 60. We're still we're pretty much doing bang on 60. I like that. I guess it is slightly raining, so that's uh, not helping our rail situation, our adhesion situation at all. up ahead there. Come on! Just hold it 60 through this curve. Yeah, it's gonna be after this next left-hander. So we can just kick off the sand and ease it back. Yeah, we can still be doing 60 right there, but it very quickly degrades. Uh, this came up in uh, my Discord as a conversation. People are asking about the, the speed signs in Deerell Valley because they are placed ridiculously often. Uh, they were actually procedurally placed based on track rules. Uh, the devs didn't actually have to place any. I think they might have had to have moved some that had some collision issues, but yeah. 
I'm just gonna put the brakes in application and line the switch. Holy crap, we almost missed that. Got down to about a bar of a set. There we go. Just pulling through it right at 30. Where did all the water go? Oof. Good lord. That's a kink. And we almost missed that switch. That would have been not so bueno. Oh, please, water. Please, water, come back. Please, water, come back. Please, water, come back. We're dumping the fire. No fire. No fire. No fire. No fire. Please come back, water. Please come back. Uh, I'm scared. I'm not sweating, you're sweating. Okay, there's water. God, how steep was that just then? God. Oh, and the injector just stopped working. Oh, poo. Well, the fire's out. I guess we're gonna see, we're, we're, we're out, we must be out in the tender. Yeah, we, we drained it dry. Ah! <laughs> let, let, tunnel! 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 Don't screw me like this, tunnel! <laughs> I swear to God, if we go in the dirt because of that. More breaks. Okay, that's about a bar. It doesn't matter what the water does now. We just hopefully won't need more pressure than that. Oh God. Stay in the cab before death. Okay, we don't want to slow down too much because now we have, God, we're gonna have to switch. We can get more water at uh, food factory, presumably. I think they have water stops everywhere. Coming up to the junction here. Where's our first car gotta go? The rear cut's gotta go to C4 and the cut ahead of it's gotta go to D2. So I guess we line ourselves to C4, drop it off, and then uh, go through from there. Taking a little set, because this is a 30 through this curve, and we're doing 40, which you could probably pretty reliably do, but... It's fine. Let that recharge. We'll just listen to the rod sounds. As we ride the pilot, get switches. is speeding up a little bit, so we'll give her a little pinch. Another little pinch. C4 should be to the left. I don't know, where's D? B. No, it's D. So D's gonna be to the right, because I think B is the passenger yard, technically. Okay, line to the left. Yeah, that's gonna be D yard over there. The C yard's gonna be right here. We need to line that switch. Line to the right, and then we need to line one to the left, one to the right. Just like that, we're already lined into C4. Apparently this is the other preferred uh, inbound track for long trains. Okay, this time, uh, it's gonna go out the, through the tunnel and <laughs> here lies Heist. He was squished by his own train for the second or third time this episode, I'll add. Um, <laughs> this time we will just uh, break the air on just the cars and let them cruise to a stop. Uh, and we'll just let the train go because that'll help set us up for our next move. Uh, and the train will have natural braking by the hill on the other side of the tunnel. So it won't, uh, <laughs> it won't run away. It can't. It'll be fine, he says, hoping that he remembers which way the hill is. Still got a long ways into the siding here, and all the cars are basically in the siding there now. It's a long siding. So anywhere there will be fine, so we'll just do that. Pop the air. Uh, tie a handbrake. Okay, handbrake tied. Our train is just rolling away. I don't know if the station is anywhere near convenient for me to go drop the drop off. 
It's all the buildings look like the station. That's uh, the one with the green on top. There it is, over there. No, it's very not convenient. So we'll just ride this end uh, and go line ourselves in. I don't see, oh, there's the water spout right there. Okay, so we can re-up the tender with water. <laughs> oh God, what, right when the, when the moment where the water in the boiler has run out, the sight glass is empty and then the injector stops working. Oh my God, that was horrifying. That's a nightmare. That's a, you stop the train and deal with it right now, buddy, nightmare. Okay, so we don't want to be lined for any of the diesel shop stuff. Uh, this is gonna be the D yard over here. There we go. And we are going to the, what is it? D2 in bed. Uh, so straight ahead. Easy enough, okay. Well, hopefully uh, our choo-choo by gravity is just gonna start going this way. Yeah, see? Yeah. Now we're thinking with portals. Tunnel portals. You see that? We don't need steam. We haven't opened the throttles since we dumped the fire. Well, maybe we did once. It's fine. It's fine. If we were really cool, we would just drop the cars uh, before the switch, but we're not gonna get that. Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna get that, unfortunately. Shush. I'm condensing into getting water in my cylinders. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to run back up, gravity back out to the... Uh, the, the tank spout. Fill it up, fire it up, and uh, we'll be ready for next time. Service. Italicized, it's speedy. Kadunk, kadunk, almost in. Okay, and pop the air. We shouldn't have closed both of those. Bang! How many times can one man get run over in one episode? Many, many times. Skirt! All right, let's go turn these jobs in. Looks like we're, we didn't shoot off too far. Who's mooing from right there? Got a sheep trapped in the silo. All right, 36 minutes. You love to see it. 20 grand. We didn't break anything. Awesome. Yeah. 37 minutes. Lots of money. 50, 87 grand. No damage. You love to see it. And then you look at your fees and go, Oh yeah, we did blow up that one locomotive at the start of the video. Oh my God, we've got enough money to pay for it all though. Is that is that what that adds up to? No, our fees are just slightly more than that. Three hundred forty-six thousand two hundred. So this money's all going away. But um, gents, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. <laughs> Teleport screen comes up. Smells like Kenosha starts playing violently. Hell, it has probably already started playing. Can't possibly take more than four minutes to run over here and fire up a DE2 and blow it up. All right, burn it down. To hell with the handbrakes. Or maybe we should turn it off. Roast them, go. We don't, where we're going, we don't care about the equipment. This is the es and <laughs> Okay, who, who do we like? Oh, right down the center, it says these bloaty boys. Okay, we'll just set up the air real quick. Uh, let's see, line this switch, line this switch. 
All right. It's everyone's favorite time. It's been too long. Yes, we rolled over a, a DE6, but like, we haven't seen the boys. And the boys are important, okay? You gotta hang out with the boys. You don't get your quality boys time in, like, what are you doing? You're not playing Dear All Valley. That's what you're not doing. Go get them! Yes! And so it begins. Do it. Do it! <laughs> a little anticlimactic of a start. Oh, and now it's becoming chaos. Oh boy. I can't jump on the platforms. It's not sandbox mode. We just have to be amidst the chaos. We <laughs> can on rolled over tank cars. Blow up! Do it! I believe in you. <laughs> oh, I love this video game. Splody boys. Those must be flam. Those are just flammable bully boys. They're not. Oh, oh! There's still splody boys over there. Oh, good God! We're making a mess. Who let the ESD connect to an oil refinery? Like that feels like just a mistake from a from a OSHA standpoint. OSHA probably thinks a railroad called the ESD is a mistake. And they're probably right. Feels like it's just a workplace hazard just by existing. Oh, I know how to deal with the flammable boys. Hey! Hi! Oh, well, you're already on fire. You're not gonna blow up now. Okay. Single tier. Freebird! Play Freebird! Do it. Oh! Oh! oh. That was a good sequence! <laughs> oh, good. Are you not gonna get to blow up? Are you not privileged? You don't get to blow up, my friend? Why can't they add a valve? Well, we've caused confusion and delay. Oh. And I'm gonna teleport back to the food factory just to make sure that my 0120 doesn't despawn. Or 2122 doesn't despawn, because I liked it. It might have despawned. In my haste to blow things up, we might have only gotten one episode with the big stupid choo-choo like that. Oh, if that happens, it'll be okay. We'll get a different big stupid choo-choo. It'll be like a fast stupid choo-choo or something. I believe. It'll be okay. doesn't like loading the but it had been loading for a fair fair minute or two now maybe it's just trying to unload all of the explodiness that's happened did I blow up the game so hard that I blew up the game I might have I'm gonna I'm gonna start recording when uh, when the game wakes up again okay we're back the game did crash and I am less the money it took to fast travel because I had 346 something before. So theoretically all the carnage got saved. Yes. Yes it did. I'll just uh, slowly scroll through these for Mr. John Doe. I saw 29 is the last one on the first screen there. Yeah. That, that many. It's over a minute. Over a million, and we only have to pay uh, all, almost all the money we have. But the question is, the question is, oh, she's still there. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh. Oh, but she's morphed into a 280. Oh, is it random every time you boot up the game? Well, that, that, that changes things. I'm gonna miss that choo-choo. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm gonna go pay the fees. 
such that that tender has water in it. And then uh, let me know. Do we change it back to the 212-2? I have the power. Or do we just leave what the, the strange Dero Valley gods give us? Or is there a setting that I'm missing? <laughs> let me know. We're going to pay the fees. Uh, we'll just try and pay the million dollar one. I keep pulling up a lot. I can't pay it guys. Pow. Did I break it? Dero Valley's not happy with me today. But yay, no fees. But also, back to almost no money. But we had fun with it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. We will catch you next time.